everyone, it's Rachel. It has been a while since I filmed a QA and a video, and since I'm unfortunately dealing with a reoccurrence of the nerve issue in my Friday hand finger and can't really play guitar, I thought it'd be fun to do one now. A few days ago I asked for your questions on Instagram, Twitter, the YouTube community tab, and on Patreon, and I got a bunch of questions, so let's try to get through as many as I can now. Thank you to everyone who sent me a question, whether it's in this video or not. Over on Patreon, Steve Mills said, First of all, I hope your injury recovers quickly. Thank you, Steve. Can you post some guitar lessons for some relatively easier songs? If beginners like me can learn stuff like that, we can enjoy some little victories of our own. That's definitely a good question and one I get asked pretty frequently now. I've been kind of wary about making lesson videos in the past because I'm still relatively new to guitar, but I do think that I might be able to offer a different perspective compared to the more experienced teachers because I kind of know what it's like to be a beginner. So yes, I'm definitely considering making lesson videos on this channel, but I'm not sure what types of lessons yet. I'm not sure if I really want to do ones on individual songs because not everyone might be interested in a particular song. But if any of you have any particular topics or even songs that you'd be interested in lessons on, definitely let me know in the comments. Now let's head over to some questions from Instagram. As always, apologies in advance if I pronounce any of your names or usernames incorrectly. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Lefteris the Photos asked, what is your goal in guitar playing? Maybe a band or just playing for yourself and your YouTube channel? I'm not sure if I have any really long-term specific goals, other than of course I want to continue to get better at guitar, continue to learn more, to be able to play more complicated things, to make more original music, and of course to continue making videos on YouTube and continuing to grow the channel. So I guess that's actually kind of a lot of different things, but it's not anything very specific. It's just kind of like a big set of things that I want to continue working on over time. I do think that joining a band one day could be cool, but it's not something that I'm concerned about right at this moment. Diesel Boyd said, what is your inspiration to keep playing? My inspiration comes from a bunch of different areas. For one, I just really enjoy guitar and I enjoy being able to play songs that I love. And that is a huge motivating factor for me, as I've said many times in the past. And then another huge component of it now is that I really enjoy making videos and putting together things for all of you here on YouTube. So it's definitely a combination of just loving playing guitar and also really being pushed and motivated to make cool guitar content here on YouTube. Overall though, guitar is just a really, really fun instrument and I'm so happy that I found it. Kyle Foster asked, when you're learning on your own, how do you like to balance doing covers, learning theory, and focusing on technique? Do you do it all in the same session or do you focus on different things different days? As I've said in the past, most of what I've learned has been through learning songs and doing covers. I have a lot of fun with learning music that I know and love and being able to play songs that I've listened to for so long, it's just such a cool feeling. And through learning songs, I've learned lots of different things as well. I've worked on different sorts of techniques and I've learned some theory things. So really I've been able to learn a lot through just learning songs and piecing things together as I need to. So that is still mainly what I'm focused on as well as starting to work on more original songs and also some music theory now and then. Really though, you should do whatever works best for you. You can work on whatever is most motivational for you and that is a great place to start. I talk about this topic a little more in depth on my recent video called How to Teach Yourself Guitar. Mustafa1038 said, do you face any problems listening to metal with your friends around? And I'm definitely about to mess up this name, but Viles Avalainen asked, do you have any friends that listen to metal and rock? I only have one friend and my father who I can headbang with. I don't really have any friends or family who are into hard rock or metal, but that's okay. I don't feel like I need to force my music on them. We all have different tastes and different genres of music and I'm totally happy listening to my music on my own and also getting to concerts with other metal fans and enjoying the music live there. Drubo Zero asked, have you had the chance to talk to or become friends with any other big YouTubers like CVT or Sarah Longfield? Or maybe any small YouTubers? And would you be interested in doing a collab with any of them? So far I haven't really had the opportunity to get to speak with a lot of the major guitar YouTubers outside of a couple comments with different people on YouTube, but it's something I would definitely be interested in doing in the future and it'd be really cool getting to meet some other fellow YouTube creators. I get asked a lot about doing collabs and while I might definitely consider one when the time is right and with the right person, I often don't have a lot of time to do that because I kind of have to work on my own schedule and I don't want to hold anyone up. So it might be something that I'll do in the future, but I can't make any guarantees there. And as far as collabs with my YouTube audience, 
It could be cool to do some sort of huge collab with many of you all in one video somehow, but I haven't thought about how that could work yet, so stay tuned. Maybe sometime in the future we'll do some sort of massive YouTube collab where we all contribute to a video. Let me know if you think that could be a fun idea. Lala asked, what is your Hogwarts house? That's a good one. So I am a pretty big Harry Potter fan, and I read all of the books multiple times when I was a kid and watched all the movies when they first came out right away, but it's kind of hard to choose exactly what house I'd be in. I guess I always thought that I would be in Gryffindor just because all of my favorite characters were in Gryffindor and all the main characters were in Gryffindor, but in reality I'm probably more of a Ravenclaw, but I'm sure I have aspects of Gryffindor and Hufflepuff in me as well, so it's kind of a mix of the houses. I'm not sure that any person really fits directly into one house as the movie paints it. I feel like we're all a combination of all of the different traits of all of the different houses. But let me know in the comments what Hogwarts houses you belong to. Now for a couple of questions from Twitter. Chris Garten said, if you were endorsed by any guitar company, who would you want to be endorsed by? This one is pretty easy and you can probably guess it based on the different guitars I have behind me here, but I love Ibanez guitars and if Ibanez ever sometime in the distant future asked me to become an endorsee, I would be very excited. Jeff Rainmaker said, Now that you own a seven string guitar and have had a little time to mess around with it, would you recommend that if someone new to guitar wants to end up playing a seven string to skip the six string and just start with the seven string? So for my brief experience so far with the seven string, it's definitely a little bit more difficult to play than a six string, mostly based around the width of the neck and how it's harder to reach things. But if you are used to that, I guess it might not be that bad because that's all you know. I always advocate for playing what you're excited about and if you go into guitar knowing that you really want to play songs that are written for the 7 string guitar, I think it could make sense to start on a 7 string guitar. It's just that's probably a very limited number of people who know that they right away pretty much only want to play 7 string songs. So I guess I feel like if you know that and you know that you want to play heavier music, it could be fine to start on a 7 string but if you are not sure or you're on the fence, I'd probably recommend going for a six string first. So yeah, I'd say it's a pretty personal decision overall, but just go for whatever you're most motivated and excited by and whatever you think you'll get the most enjoyment out of. Now for some questions from the YouTube community tab. JStuffPS said, when did you start feeling confident in your playing and started to feel as though you've sort of mastered the instruments? So while my confidence in my playing has been increasing slowly over time, I know that I have not come anywhere close to mastering the instrument. And I don't think that many people actually have. There's so many different things to learn with guitar that I think it would be very hard to master the instrument as a whole and I don't think it's really possible. It might be possible to master certain areas of the guitar playing, like you might be able to be really, really good at metal rhythm playing, but you might also not be able to do fingerstyle playing or vice versa. There's just so many different areas and so many different things to learn that it would be really hard to get everything down perfectly for almost anyone. So I don't think I will ever feel like I mastered the instrument, but I will continue to grow in confidence in my playing abilities and that is all I need. The vast amount of different things you can learn and work on with guitar that makes it almost impossible to master is also what makes it such an exciting and fun instrument. The Archduke said, How did you learn guitar? Were you entirely self-taught? Where would you recommend aspiring guitar players go to improve? I've been entirely self-taught through the help of the internet, throughout my guitar playing journey, and I actually made a video recently called How to Teach Yourself Guitar that I mentioned before that goes into detail on different things I think are important when trying to teach yourself guitar, and I'll link that in the description. In that video I also link to a bunch of online guitar teachers who have been super instrumental in my learning, and if you're interested in finding some new teachers and learning some new things, definitely go check them out. Joe Mole said, If you had to pick one guitarist, who would you say really inspired you to start playing guitar? Interestingly, I don't think there was actually one guitarist in particular that inspired me to start playing. There have been many guitarists who inspired me once I started playing, but it wasn't necessarily one guitarist that caused me to pick up the guitar. It was more just the idea of being able to play the songs that I love in the metal genre and yeah, just a lot of bands that I like, I guess, but not a guitarist in particular. James Will said, I really want to learn to play guitar like you, however I find it hard to stay motivated. How do you keep enthusiasm in the early stages of learning before you're actually seeing decent results? That's definitely a great question. I think one thing that can help a lot with that is to set achievable goals that can help you see your progress over time. At the start, this might just be playing a chord or playing a couple of chords in a row, and they can get more complex as you get more advanced with your playing, but for me having those small goals and 
seeing that progress, seeing something that I wasn't able to do a week ago come to fruition is a really great reward and it's something that has been really motivating for me. Another thing that might help is to try to keep it musical even really early on. And by that I mean play along to songs, learn songs even from the very start. There are lots of songs that are relatively simple with just a few chords and if you can play those even slowly or maybe not fully correctly, it's still a lot of fun or at least it was for me and playing songs has been a huge motivating factor for me and my playing. Noah Ginsberg asked, what's your favorite song to play? This is definitely varied over time depending on what I'm learning but ghost riffs are particularly fun to play. I come back to them a lot and just ghost songs in general. I also like some other riff from Nightwish songs and the riff from Alice Cooper's Poison is really fun to play as well. There are so many fun songs out there so it's hard to choose just one but I guess if I were to choose a band as I just said I think ghosts in general and ghost riffs in general are my most fun to play. They're just really groovy and just really cool sounding, so I'll go with that. Ethan Mix said, My question is, who's your favorite guitarist and who's your favorite band? And Stephen Rowe also said, Who are your main guitar influences? As I've been mentioning, there are a lot of bands I really love and a lot of guitarists, but in terms of guitar-focused music, I would say that Ghost is probably my favorite band right now. They just have such fun songs to play, as I just mentioned, and they're really approachable at any guitar level, so Probably Ghost is my favorite guitar focused band at this point in time. But there are so many bands I like. Nightwish has always been a huge inspiration for me. Recently I've been really into Battle Beast. I like Sonata Artica, as you can see here, and lots of different power metal and symphonic metal bands. So basically I have a large variety of influences. In terms of an individual guitarist who has been a motivating factor for me, as you probably know, one of my big inspirations is Nita Strauss. Nebby said, Hi Rachel, I recently got a guitar gifted and I know some chords are ready, but how can I start doing some solos and lead guitar things? The tip I always give here is to just slow down whatever you're trying to learn. So take a solo that you're excited about, slow it down like 80% and just try to play it at that speed and then slowly increase that speed as you get comfortable over time. I think that's really the key thing and key component to be able to play anything that's more difficult to slow it down and slowly speed it back up. Most way Duarte said, besides playing guitar, what other hobbies do you have? Honestly, most of my time is divided between my full-time job, then playing guitar and working on YouTube videos, so there's not a ton of time for other things. So yeah, mostly just guitar and working on and editing YouTube videos. Jasper Ian said, I just subscribed and watched your videos. I have a question, are you in a band or have you been performing live too? I'm not currently in a band, I think it could be cool to do in the future, but I'm not in one right now. And as far as in general live playing, I haven't done very much. I've played in a couple of guitar stores, but not really to anyone. And I've also played on a live stream once and of course for YouTube videos, but it's definitely something that I should try to do somehow more in the future. Mystical MC said, were there any times you struggled and got frustrated with your progress? If so, how did you handle it? In the same vein, Scott Phillips said, I've been playing guitar for just over six months, can play a few riffs, but hit a brick wall. Any help? There have definitely been times when I've been frustrated with myself for not being able to get down some riff or taking too long to learn something. But that frustration usually isn't very productive for me. It's often been much better to move on to something else and come back to the thing that I've been stuck on a little bit later once it's behind me a little bit or I've had time to work on something else and kind of refocus. So I guess my tip here is that if you hit a brick wall or you get frustrated with something you're currently working on, it is totally okay to take a break from that and move on to something else. It could be something easier so that you have that feeling of accomplishment and might feel better overall about your guitar playing before you come back to tackle that thing that has been giving you difficulty. Or it could be something that's just different and a similar level of difficulty. Whatever you are motivated to learn at the time, it is okay to switch to that. I often find after taking that break from whatever's been giving me trouble, it is a lot easier when I come back and it's just a lot more enjoyable as well. Deck Ape asked, are you learning music theory the same way you're learning to play guitar, self-taught via YouTube? I'm still in the very early stages of learning music theory, and yes, I'm still teaching myself music theory through online resources. There are some great YouTube videos out there, and I also recently ordered Steve Vai's theory book. Here it is, it's called Biodeology, and I'm only a little bit into it so far. This is definitely not a sponsored video. I just ordered this because I saw he posted it on Instagram, and it looked like it would be a really helpful resource. 
And so far it seems really good. It's kind of just a overview of music theory from a guitar player's perspective. And obviously Steve knows what he's talking about. So this could be a valuable resource as well. But you can definitely learn music theory online through free resources, just like you can with guitar playing. And there are also some free online music courses from different universities that might be worth checking out as well. Strawberry Shortcake said, my daughter is seven. What advice can you give her to keep trying and keep improving? Her name is Aipha and it would blow her mind if you mentioned her. Well, Aipha, it's all about having a lot of fun with it and Consistent practice is important, but you should always be working on things you're excited about and getting to play songs that you love is just really, really fun. So I hope you're having a ton of fun with it so far and just continue to enjoy what you're doing. It's okay if you get demotivated at times or maybe it isn't as fun one day. You can totally take a break and come back to it when it is fun. It's just about enjoying the instrument and having a great time with it. Best of luck to you with your playing. It's really awesome getting to hear from so many different people and having people like you watching my videos. That is all the questions for today. I had a ton of fun reading through all of them and it's really great getting to hear from all of you. I apologize if I didn't get to your question in this video. There were a lot of questions and the video was getting very long so I couldn't get through all of them, but I do appreciate all of your questions. If you have a question for a future Q&A video, feel free to leave it in a comment down below and I'll pull some from here in the next one. I sometimes ask for questions over on my Instagram and Twitter pages, so I'll have those linked down below as well if you'd like to follow me there and get updates in between videos. I also need to give a special thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon. It's really awesome having all of your support, and one of the perks over there is prioritized Q&A questions. There are also perks like backing tracks and a Discord server, so if you're interested in any of those, the link to that is in the description as well. As always, thank you for being awesome and for all of your support, and I will see you in the next video.